I love diving. It's very fun and you can discover a beautiful world underwater. Look how many fishes. Look, a starfish. It's beautiful. <laughs> Phoebe, are you looking for mermaids again? Mermaids? Mm, not sure. But there are lots of crabs at the seabed. Phoebe, mermaids don't ig... What? What is it? A mermaid? A shark! Wait, it's a baby shark. Where are his parents? Don't worry, we'll help you find them. Submarine mission, finding the shark family. Wow, a clownfish. Let's ask him. He's with a surgeon fish and a turtle. Haha, <laughs> like in Finding Nemo movie. They may know something. Dory, have you seen any shark? What a great idea, Groovy. If you transform into aquatic animals, you'll be able to move underwater more easily. Well, not always. <laughs> Seahorses aren't really agile. We're learning a lot of animals today. Let's ask him if he's seen your family, baby shark. Excuse me, Mr. Seahorse. Have you seen any shark? Miss Dolphin, did you see a shark? Mr. Swordfish? Jellyfish? Whale? No, don't worry. Fish have a really bad memory. I'm sure someone has seen them, but can't remember it. We'll have to look for clues. Look, is that a fishing net? Hmm. They seem scared. Let's go and check. Baby shark, your parents. Oh no, we have to hurry. You'll have to cut the fishing net faster. Good job, kids. Yeah. Do you remember the name of all the animals we learned today? Yes, starfish. Crab, really good. Yes, clownfish, like Nemo and his dad. Great, surgeon fish. Sea turtle, they can live more than 100 years. Seahorse, what a beauty. Jellyfish, careful with them. The intelligent dolphin. Whale, huge. Shark, how scary. Let's take care of the ocean so they can all live happily. What a beautiful day to dive and see coral and colorful fish. Look how beautiful the bottom of the sea is. What a nice clownfish. Hi, little friend. By little, if you practice, you'll end up swimming like a real fish. Oh, 
What is this disaster? It's horrible. The bottom of the sea looks like a dump. Animals can't live like this. What was that, kids? To find out, we better follow it. I can't believe it. It's a mermaid. Let's follow her, kids. She's gone in there. Where is she gone? There she is. Poor thing. She's crying. Children, let's try to cheer her up. The mermaid is sad because her house, the bottom of the sea, is in serious danger because of the plastic. Plastic is lethal for poor marine animals. Isn't that right, Pops? Plastic containers that are not recycled end up in the sea and are a deadly trap for the poor fish who get caught in them or get poisoned by eating them. This disaster must be stopped. Children, shall we help the mermaid to clean up the bottom of the sea? Yes, that's how I like it. We help those who are in need. Don't worry, little mermaid. We'll help you. But children, how can we do it? There's a lot of plastic in the sea. We need something big, groovy. Can you think of anything? Children, what should Groovy transform into to collect as much plastic as possible? A pearl necklace? A submarine? Or a daisy? Yes, into a submarine. Fantastic! With this super submarine, we'll clean the bottom in no time. There's nothing like teamwork to go even faster. Bye-bye to that awful plastic. The fish are happy. And the sea is back to its original appearance. All right, kids. Great job. You've done a great job together. Congratulations. You have helped the mermaid and all the fish. The sea is now a better place, free of plastics. Goodbye, mermaid. We promise to recycle all the plastic at home so that it doesn't end up in our oceans. Right, children? <laughs> Remember, children, say no to throwing plastic away. Say yes to recycling it. What a beautiful day to go to the beach. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I love how you use the beach wraps, Groovy. I'm glad you're wearing light clothes. It's important not to get dressed in warm clothes in summer. It's the hottest season and the sun heats up a lot. Hmm, the cooler is too close to the sea. What do you think, kids? Is it a good place to leave it? Oh, are you going to play paddle ball? What a great idea. Ruby, do you know how to play? Sure. Groovy, you have to hit it with the paddle. Exactly, with that one. It's your turn to start. Really good, Groovy. We found your sport. Wow, 
Phoebe, you're getting sunburned. Haven't you used any sunscreen? Phoebe, you have to use sunscreen, always. It's essential not to get burnt. And you too, Groovy, even if you don't get sunburned easily. Pops, help me explain to them what else they have to do to protect themselves from the sun. In summer, the sun heats up a lot. Every time you go to the beach, the swimming pool, or the park, you have to follow this not to get sunburned. 1. Use sunscreen several times during the day. 2. Use caps or hats. 3. Protect your eyes with sunglasses. And 4. Stay in the shade during the hottest hours. For example, under the umbrella. Have you understood? Very good. Put on sunscreen all over your body. Perfect! Now we need something to cover your head. Great! And what else? Bright, cool sunglasses! You're ready to keep playing! Groovy, what's wrong? Oh no, the wave stole the cooler with our snacks inside. Oh, uh, the, the sea is dragging it further and further away. I knew Groovy. Our fridge has our favorite snack. Fresh summer fruit. Watermelon, nectarine, melon. We have to get it back. Hmm, what can we do? I know, Groovy can help us. Kids, what should Groovy transform into to get the fridge back? A camera? A paddle boat? Or a ball? Really good! Into a paddle boat! Come on, Phoebe, you can do it. You're doing it great. Less is left. Keep moving. Very good. Watch out, a wave. Yay, it's already yours. Now to the beach. Good, you've done it, kids. Now, snack time! Under the umbrella, you can enjoy your snack without getting sunburned. The fresh fruit is the best to recharge your batteries. Isn't it good? What a beautiful day to come back from holidays. Did you have fun? Don't tell me you've been surfing. Sighted animals never seen before? Got yourself a three scoop ice cream cone? What a cool vacation! So, are you rested and ready to go back to school? School starts tomorrow. Do you have everything ready? No? Then let's get your backpack ready. Guys, how about we play Find the School Supplies? Very good. Before we go looking like crazy, let's find out what we need. Pops, please help us. We'll need a notebook and a pencil. With the pencil, we can draw pictures in our notebook. We'll also need an eraser, in case we're not quite convinced by what we've drawn. That's better. Another important thing is the pencil sharpener, in case the pencil gets dull. Oh, and we'll also need, most importantly, a backpack to store everything. In short, we'll need to find five things. A notebook, a pencil, an eraser, a pencil sharpener, and a backpack. Are you ready to look? I can't hear you. Are you ready? 
That's the way I like it. Ready, set, go. All right, Phoebe, we already have a notebook. Now we only have four things left to find. Great, Groovy, you're so fast. Way to go, Groovy, you found the pencil. I think it's been a long time since you've cleaned up down here. Snuggles? You can't eat that. It's an eraser. Good, Phoebe. We only have two little things left to find. Well, well, well. What's an original horn this unicorn has? It's a pencil sharpener. Congratulations, guys. Now all we have to do is find the backpack to store it all. Where could it be? If you were more organized, you wouldn't have such a hard time finding things. I'm sure the backpack is there in that pile. How can we find it? Can you think of any fun ideas? Remember, this is a game. Good idea! We can try to catch the backpack with a hook. Like that stuffed claw machine you were playing with on your vacation. Groovy, will you help us? Kids, what should Groovy transform into to find the backpack? A boat? Shower gel? Or a hook like the one on the claw machine. Yes, a hook. Come on, Phoebe. I'm sure you can find that backpack. Let's see, there's something. Oh, it's not a backpack. It's a groovy teddy. A soft, durable, and very fun cuddly toy. Available online, a cuddly toy from another planet. Okay, okay, no more advertisements for now. Keep looking, Phoebe. There's something that looks like a backpack. Let's see. You better get rid of that shoe that smells like cheese. Come on, one last try. Good. There's the backpack. Let's not forget anything. We put the notebook, pencil, pencil sharpener, and eraser in the backpack. We're ready to go to school. Where's Phoebe going? Of course, we forgot to put in a toy. All right, we're ready to go to school. But kids, school doesn't start until tomorrow. <laughs> so you have plenty of time to tidy up your room. Look at it. Where are you going, Phoebe? Aren't you going to help us clean up? Much better that way. Together, we'll finish faster. Thanks, Phoebe. What a beautiful day to play in the garden. What's the matter, Phoebe? Tired of the ball already? Ah, you want to try Groovy Scooter. It's okay. Let's ask him if he'll let you have it for a while. Groovy! 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 <laughs> Hi, Groovy. 
Could you lend your scooter to Phoebe for a ride? Come on, she really wants to play with it for a while. That's it, Groovy. There's nothing better than knowing how to share with your friends. Wow, Phoebe has taken a liking to the scooter. Don't worry, Groovy. We are asking her to return it to you right now. Phoebe! 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 Now it's Groovy's turn to use the scooter. Phoebe, that's not done. You have to share your toys. It's Groovy's turn. Pops, please tell her yourself to see if she listens to you better. Sharing toys with your friends is so much fun. But sharing doesn't only mean that they lend you their toys. You should lend them yours, too. Don't be selfish. This way, both of you will win because you will have many more toys to play with together. Did you get that, Phoebe? Phoebe, that's not very nice. Ruby, you better play something else. How about some tea time with your little friends? I think Mr. Teddy wants a little more. What's the matter, Phoebe? Tired of the skateboard? Do you want to play tea party? You'll have to talk to Groovy first. You weren't very nice to him before. What, Groovy? Should we let Phoebe play? Run, Groovy! She's taking your guests! You're stuck in the treehouse now. Only Groovy can help you, but since you haven't been very nice to him, I don't know if he'll want to. What do we do, Groovy? Do we help her? Yeah, I know. Phoebe loves all of your toys and hasn't wanted to share them with you. But still, Phoebe's your friend, and that's the most important thing. Don't you think we should help her? Kids, what should Groovy transform into so Phoebe can get down from the tree? A boat? A shampoo bottle? Or a rescue mattress? Yes, into a mattress! Come on, Phoebe. You just have to jump. Good. Where's Phoebe? Where is she? Ah, there she is. Phoebe, don't you think Groovy deserves an apology? I'm glad to see you two finally playing together. There's nothing more fun than sharing games and toys with friends. Right, Mr. Teddy? Which finger, which finger, 
Hi, I'm the potty. Come on in. Your costume, I really do, but you see, <laughs> your nose is missing. Where is my nose? Is my nose? I just don't know. I just don't know. Can't find my nose. Where is my nose? Where is my nose? Without my nose, I'm indisposed. Can't smell a rose or foot all door. I chose this. 